hey guys welcome back to another weekly vlog and this week's vlog is gonna be a little bit different because it's all about <laughs> what <laughs> this week's vlog is all about my vacation maintenance because we're going on vacation in a couple of days but it's monday night and i just got some great news so let's go share the news with harp let's go harp guess what there's no school tomorrow. There's no school tomorrow. There's no school tomorrow. Are you sure? We're gonna have a party. Yeah. Oh, I'm there, over here. There's no school tomorrow. There's no school tomorrow. Oh, that's not for me. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so Harp has no school tomorrow, which is great because it's Tuesday. That way I could be well rested. I could film another video for you guys to see while I'm on vacation. And then it gives me enough time to just pack and do everything else for the rest of the week. Look at that. Yeah, all right, we're about to go to bed, about to put Zoe to bed, and then we will do all the maintenance tomorrow. I just, that was the email I needed. Just finished the last little bit of booking things for vacation, um, and yeah. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're doing our nails, our hair, face care, body care, all that fun stuff. See y'all. Hello. Oh, I don't have no errands on. Please hold my baby. I'm so tired. Let me go get some lip balm because my lips just look. Matter of fact, I'm not because I this doesn't interest me. You're probably staring at me like Asia baby. Why do you have this much makeup on and your eyes? <laughs> Your iconic Moo Moo. Oh, I'm gonna knock you out. Um, he's acting delirious. I think he's tired. I got some lip balm because my um, it's starting to burn. Like it's starting to hurt. Cause I'm not used to not wearing like a balm. But anyways, so I went to Target. Yes, though. Yes, though. What's wrong, honey? I went to Target this morning. I just have to pick up um, a car seat, but I did pick up a couple other things that I forgot to pick up the other day when I went toilet seat shopping. So, this is what we're working with. So, the first thing, I picked up the pink neck pillow. I had it in my cart last time, and then I like changed my, min my mind last minute, and then I wanted it again because I have another one, but it's not like as firm. It's like more like beady, like it's not good quality. So I went back and got this one. I already sprayed Lysol fabric spray on it and stuff. <laughs> Don't worry. So it's the neck pillow. It comes in three colors. It comes in like an army green, a baby blue that matches those suitcases, and then a pink. I was going to get the blue because it matches my suitcase, but I really like the pink. You guys know I've been in my pink era. Um, and then it comes with an eye mask, and the eye mask is like cushioned and thick. Needed her. Super, super cute. Um, so I got that today. And then I don't know when my target started doing paper bags. Like the bag band is just a hot mess. Um, I then got a mini tide. We're staying at an Airbnb. I don't like Airbnbs. I'm just I'm just a hotel girl. Like convenience. Come clean my room every day. Food right then and there. Like I just prefer hotels. Hopefully this experience goes a good. Um, I'll be sharing like a tour of the house and all of that in that vlog for vacation but anyways i got the tide because i mean i know they get the house clean but i was like i'm gonna wash the sheets <laughs> they gotta wash and dry at the house i was like i'm gonna wash the sheets and stuff in my room because i'm just weird about that type of stuff like what if a house is sitting empty for like eight months and they say they got it clean but they just go like wipe the counters down like who's this you know what i'm saying I got some tide um i got this in the mail the other day I was so pressed to have this. I just hit myself face. I was so pressed to have this that I saw somebody post it on TikTok and she got it at Target, but like I never seen it in my Target. And I was like, I want this for vacation. I want this glow getter mini one and the bottle's still cute. Girl, I ordered this all the way from London. <laughs> when I'm like planning for a vacation and I get something in my head, I just have to commit to it. Like I don't care, like there's no undoing. The thought for me i ordered this all the way from london luckily it was on sale for like eight dollars so by the time it put in the shipping it was the same thing as the full price in america but if it wasn't i would have never bought it 
but yeah i'm excited to use it i've tried this body wash before you guys remember i picked it up in a target hygiene video um, but i just really wanted a mini one for vacay and then i was like the bottles are cute i could refill them and stuff so yeah i picked up that i need to pack that and then i got a couple bathing suits in today and i tried them on and i was so happy i ordered all of them because they all worked out beautifully um you guys know i had a baby two years ago not a year ago like i have no reason to ever use like the postpartum excuse but my body has just not bounced back and that's okay you guys know i was like going to the gym um i was doing some glutide. like i just had been having the hardest time bouncing back to get to where i want to be stomach wise like at this point i'm just really like maybe i just need to go get life on a tummy tuck like it is what it is but all of the bathing suits that i had they just didn't fit the way i wanted to i didn't feel comfortable in them um and a lot of them hit like right under that lower belly area where it just wasn't flattering so i just wanted to try a couple options to see if i could find something that i felt a little bit more comfortable in how do i have 26 text messages already so the first place i got some bathing suits was from good american i don't know what made me go on good oh you know why i went on good american because it was a pair of these sweatpants that i wanted it's a pair of gray wide leg sweatpants and they have like gems on it and then it has a matching white t-shirt i went to go buy that as my airport fit but the t-shirt was sold out and i saw they had swim i wandered to the swim section on um here on good american girl the sale prices i want to go back on there and buy every single sweatsuit so I have my receipt right here so the first swimsuit i got the theme of like the week is like pink because it's jay's favorite colors so like all the decor is gonna be pink and stuff so the first swimsuit i got is this and i don't know what you're thinking okay it's a sparkly one piece bathing suit fair enough barbie vibes right it is such nice quality it has booby pads in it but when you put it on you can't tell it's full coverage but it's like a little higher on the leg um but it has like coverage on the butt because being around people's boyfriends like i'm not walking around the thongs and stuff like i'm not that girl so i tried it on loved it i had this makeup on this hair and i had on like some silver drop bottega dupe earrings beautiful here's the gag this bathing suit is such nice quality by the way it's not it's not slinky it's so crazy because i actually prefer these swimsuits that i got from good american over my skims ones any of these i feel like the skims ones are really really good if you have a nice body you know like if your body eats like body is tea vibes if not it wasn't for me and i felt like when i ordered it i kind of expected good american to like do really really well for bathing suits because i know their jeans are good. So, anyways this bathing suit was originally um 129 dollars yes $129. I paid $14.40 for this. When I told y'all I was in my bargain bag, and not even like I'm being frugal, I just be like, if I could get a good bargain, I'm all for it. $14.40. <laughs> That's how I feel as though. It was originally $23.90 on sale, which is already an amazing sale, right? But then they had an extra 40% off sale, which made it $14.40. $129 to $14.40. And the quality, insane. The quality is so nice that I actually would pay $130 for a full, like, one piece of them. Like, I thought it was so cute when I put it on. You'll see it in the vacation vlog. Okay, cool. Next one, I got this satin bikini set with the cover up so it's a set oh that's the bottom you don't want to see that it's a, so why are you so loud buddy hold on i gotta tie it because i had like untied it from wearing it you know it's almost your bedtime right are you tired so it's a satin bikini top so rather than tie at the back it ties at the front um obviously if that's something that bothers you you can feed this through the opposite way with a chopstick kind of just depends but it comes like this and it's in this really nice pretty satin the bra is not lined this was originally 80 dollars. i want to say it was 79.90 or 89.90 one or the other full price i paid seven dollars and nineteen cents seven dollars and nineteen cents for an eighty dollar 
bikini top quality insane it's so silky it's such a pretty set and it's not a cheap set it's a really nice high quality set and i got a size medium by the way um seven dollars seven dollars ladies and gentlemen then i got the matching um tie bottom it's just this standard don't throw it at me please it's just your standard you are so rude it's just your standard tie bottom. It's your bedtime. Give me that before you throw it in the cracks. Standard tie bottom. Again, this was $80. This was $7.19 as well. Okay. Then they had a cover up. I love me a good cover up because again, I'm not super into my, my stomach. And I know I should you just be positive. Like it's my body. I birthed kids. Like I get that. But I do just struggle mentally when my body's not what I'm used to, especially like right now, like I'm super bloated. It's that time of the month for me. So if I could cover up to make myself feel better, I'm going to do it. So they had a little matching ruched mini skirt moment. Super, super cute. Same material. It's an adorable mini skirt. This I believe was $80 as well. $9 and 60 cents. Asia baby, you're doing great. Thank you. You want these? Okay. So my total for all of those bathing suits was $43.38, but my full price total was over $300. Round of applause for me. Um, and then the last bathing suit I got, I got one from ASOS because I just needed like a nice black bikini and I couldn't find one. All of mine are like kind of janky. Um, so I got this one from ASOS. It's just your standard black bikini top. It's so cute though because it has a toggle instead of tying it that's so funky i didn't even know that when i bought it but it's super super cute it's on the front and the back and then it has the string bikini bottoms and these have the toggles as well i really like these ones though because i like that they come up to the right length like they're not like a super low dip in the front where you're getting like all of that fupa energy um it can go up so i do really like these bottoms these were 17 dollars and then I picked up an extra um, bottom just in case. And I got a pair of high-waisted black ones. They look so long right here. I was like, what in the diaper? This is by a completely different brand, but like it's black. It's not the end of the world. These were $13. And these actually look really, really cute on as well. And they cover that part of my stomach that I'm most insecure about. So yeah, that's all I got in the mail today. But I'll catch y'all tomorrow for another haul. And then we gotta start packing because right now this is just like rough draft packing. So I gotta finalize it. So see you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you guys wanna see my makeup done and to get ready with me, um, I posted one. I'll have it linked down below. These eyelashes, so cute. They're going right back in the box. Okay, bye. All right, I'm all showered. I feel so you ever just like your hair is dirty to the point that like you just don't even want to have hair and then you just feel nasty like having makeup on and i had a lot of makeup on way more makeup than i'm used to wearing i don't know that was what is that to now um so i feel a little bit better i'm so tired but i am gonna at least like put my extensions on my nose that way i just have to paint them tomorrow or friday and i mean even though i'm tired i would just lay here on tiktok anyways so why not make my time mean something so i have all my stuff out when i'm in my bed i just use like my little laptop tray so let me flip the camera and i'm just gonna give you guys like a general idea of what i have going on right now so on here this is just how i just hang out in my bed lay back relax watch tv i have my full size lamp i have my mini lamp for when i'm doing each fingernail i have my nail tips these are the ones i've been using for the last couple months i'm almost oh those so i need to either get some new ones or find a new brand i have my nail drill and this just like plugs into here it's a little wireless one which makes my life so much easier I have all of my drill bits, so depending on what I'm doing, I can interchange things. I have my nail gel glue. Mine's is crusty. It has like stuff from my bag on it because it um like ripped. I mean not ripped. It like spilled in my bag a little bit, but I still use it. And then I have my little kit that's so dirty from the chrome powder brushes, but I have like my cuticle nipper, my cuticle thing, nail file, clipper, all that. 
these are my nails looking like right now if it's gonna focus i know you're not supposed to um pull your polish off but listen you gotta do what you gotta do when you're in a rush okay this is what i really want to do i'll cut off my for you this ain't what i really want guys it's the next day did my nails last night as you guys saw i could not decide why is she so loud i could not decide how i wanted them and i had like all these inspo pictures but then when i was doing it i wasn't liking it and then i had did this style and then i outlined it in silver and i was like mm, i don't like it so then i drew it all off i probably drew it up all my nose like five times um and i just settled on white squigglies so yeah i didn't go to sleep till four o'clock in the morning i'm starting to realize about myself that um if i don't go to sleep like at my bedtime like at the time as soon as i get tired then i'm just never gonna fall asleep so i was up till four o'clock in the morning creating playlists like a weirdo i don't know i'd be listening to music vibing and i mean my foot be dancing um but i marked off two things off my to-do list which is good and i just finished my last diy project um it was putting stickers on the cups so i had to like recalibrate my printer I had to recalibrate my Cricut, but I finally got it done after like an hour. So it just says level 30. They're printed on clear stickers. Um, and I just got the white stadium cups from Amazon. So yeah, super, super easy. Literally for these, because I actually have these at every party because they're like just a cute momentum thing. Um, you just put the text on Cricut, put it in the shape and flatten it. And then you do print to cut. So then you print it on paper, sticker paper, and then you let the Cricut cut it. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, I'm about to put some clothes on and go clean the snow off my car so I could go get my eyelashes done and then I'll come home, pack, and take my maintenance shower. I'm so behind. Um, it's still snowing but it is dying down a little bit. So let's go clean the car off and put that in sport mode, aka snow mode, and let's go get our eyelashes done. 
lashes is done. Oh, I need to take care of these eyebrows. All right, oh, we're back home. I just ate. I'm just sitting here relaxing. But the lashes though, perfect. Look at them, so cute. I got 13s. I think my aunt said these are double double Ds. Big old jugs, I know. But these is yeah, double D, 13s. Um, like a hybrid, not a hybrid, but like a light wispy. I didn't want it too dark. Um, so yeah, lashes is done. It's four o'clock. What time did I leave out the house to go get my lashes done? Let me see. Nobody knows me like you. I left out at 12.32, it's 4.18. I got home um, at 3.30, so I wasn't gone that long. <sighs> I'm so irked because I got a drone for this trip because I was really like trying to elevate the vlog experience. Not that it's required, but my uncle had a drone and I was like, oh, can I borrow it? He was like, yeah, of course. I go get the drone in the snow and it's legal. Drones are legal in Aruba because you always want to make sure you research it. But you have to get approval or like let them know when you plan to use it, where. Da -da -da -da. It's four o'clock. The office closes at five. I sent the email. Hopefully they respond. But I'm like, can I take the drone still? And then like if they don't give me permission, I just don't use it. Or do I just leave it home? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know what to do. Not that bad outside, surprisingly. They were like, in the game, it's gonna be such a bad snowstorm in the rest of the world. The snow is definitely not that bad. Um, I drove kind of all over Philly today, and planes have still been flying today. So, we gotta get it together because we have to head out from here at like 2 in the morning to get to JFK to get on our flight. So, that should be fun. But let's go shower. Oh, BCW, if you have an allergy to eyelashes, like how I used to remember my eyelids used to get swirly, they used to be itchy, you get dry pill. The trick is, the trick is, you buy some Flonase and you put the Flonase on a Q-tip and you put the Q-tip on your lash line before and after, no reaction, long gone. You're welcome, I saved the day. You're freaking welcome, but come on, let's go shower. Shower and filming just makes everything so much harder, but it's okay. We're gonna get it done. Work is work, and y'all my friends, so let's go get ready for a real fast Stitches got real, things are getting intense now. Hey, you talking about we alive, you speak French now. Mm. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hand now. I hit you up like, do you wanna hang right now? And you know I'm with the gang right now You say, do I wanna watch? I know what time it is right now It's after 3 a.m. I know that's asking a lot of you right now All you ever say is come and see me for once Come and see me You don't ever come and be yeah. All you ever say is come and see me for once Come and see me You don't ever come and be yeah. All you ever say is It's down, it's just down, it's down Hey, you talking about we alive, we alive, we alive, now mm -hmm. Giving me the sign, so I'm trying to get down I hit you up like, do you wanna hang right now, hang right now On the east side, and you know I'm a gang right now You say do I wanna work, you say do I wanna work, it's right now, it's right now I know that's asking a lot of you right now. All you ever say is come and see me for once. Come and see me. You don't ever come and be here. All you ever say is come and see me for once. Come and see me. You don't ever come and be here. All you ever say is come and see me for once. Come and see me. You don't ever come and be here. Body care and face is done. I'm breaking out because I didn't get good sleep and I'm the type of person if I don't get good sleep my skin shows it I'm so tired but I need to edit a video pack still and do my hair so we'll see I mean I don't have yes I do because if I don't edit the video now when am I gonna have time to but anyways I got a package in 
and it's what I've been waiting for. Thank goodness it came. It was supposed to be here Wednesday, then Thursday, and then it came today. But I ordered the pink sweatsuit from Skims as my airport fit. That necessary body oil, they snap. They did their big one. It was delightful. The exfoliator, and you guys know, I have a couple other um, brands that have sent me like the same concept. I want to try all of them now. I feel like butter, okay? But I got the zip up hoodie, and then I've got the um, wide leg, straight leg pants because I have the hot pink version of the sweatsuit and I have it in the regular joggers and I don't like them. That's why I don't wear them a lot. So I'm gonna like these better because the waistband is better on these. So let's try these on really quickly so we can see what our airport fit is given. <sighs> I'm so tired. Because I'm so tired and I need to take a nap, I'm going to montage me planning my outfits because yes, I didn't do that yet. Why, I don't know. Let's plan outfits. Put you guys right here. So cue the pack. This is gonna fall. You know why? Because this pillow is so freaking soft. Alright, now we can cue the montage. Let me put my music back on. are getting like more red by the second there was already like a little red at the bottom when i got my eyelashes done because <laughs> i'd be blinking but then i'm so tired on top of that that they're even getting worse but it's nine o'clock at night is it hold on let me see it is 9 58 and we're going to the airport in 10 oh, 11, 12, like four and a half hours um because we have to drive to JFK. So my last thing on my vacation maintenance is to do this head of hair. Um, I'm feeling good because it's the last thing I have to do. Um, I just finished editing the toiletry shot with me video. So that way I didn't bring my laptop. I don't have to work while I'm on vacation. Um, did the thumbnail, did the description box, did everything for that video. So let's just do our hair really quick. I'm trying to think where I want to do my hair at because the tripod that I would usually put like click onto the mirror it's already in the suitcase <laughs> and I don't feel like getting it but I'm gonna hurry up and do my hair I'm gonna give myself like 30 minutes to do my hair so that I can take a nap because I'm pooped like I'm literally pooped so yeah oh my god I need some eye drops it's like just getting worse worser and worser it wasn't as bad earlier but now it's getting bad i gotta find some eye drops i look like i'm zooted so 
that's no fun but let's go do our hair guys because it's the last thing on our list to do and then we're gonna sleep then we're gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go to the airport and then it's cue the airport vlog so come on all right hair is done i was gonna curl it i was gonna even wave it but straightening is the quickest thing to do i'm trying to go to bed child so this is the hair for the first day of the trip it is what it is at this point take it or leave it vibes i'm all packed got everything just gotta grab my phone charger but i definitely gotta sleep because all this redness you see on my face my skin always does that when i'm so tired so i'm gonna go to sleep before we head to the airport um thank you guys for hanging out with me for our maintenance prep for a vacation and i will see you guys in aruba thank you guys so much if you guys are new here don't forget to like the video comment subscribe and i will see you guys in a couple days bye